Welcome, everybody, to a special edition of Banter and Chance. Uh, we're going to call this our Kitties edition as we join the Mushroom Dumpling Gang on the island of Bertha. Um, we are going to be uh, exploring our story from a different side. So uh, with that in mind, we'll say a little bit more in just in just a bit. But let's go around the table and find out who our characters are playing tonight in this special edition of Banter and Chance. Hi, I'm Becca. I am playing Buzz, a 13-year-old pre-assassin um, who cannot wait to never make a shoe again in her life. <laughs> Fantastic. What are you excited about playing Buzz? Um... Well, she's a non-magic user at all, so this will be fun. <laughs> awesome. All right, Luna. Hi, I'm Luna, and I'm going to be playing Tweet, who is a 15-year-old pre-barbarian uh, boy, and he loves to watch things burn. But what I'm excited about doing tonight the most is baby rage. <laughs> baby rage all right and shady uh i'm shady i'm going to be playing uh hooch she's a pre-ranger um and she comes from a noble farming family and she's a little rough around the edges and i'm very excited to play her um in need to be in charge awesome well these are three of the characters three of the npcs that we've been we met uh over the last two episodes uh so with that in mind uh let's talk about what happened last time or i should say previously on banter and chance junior you know the story or you're following our story of a brave dragonborn a kozakurn monk from the east a streetwise urchin two shatterkai brother and sister one a swashbuckling ink bard the other a twilight cleric But tonight we're going to look at this from a different angle. Over the past two years, the island of Bertha, the stronghold of a hag coven and evil crime filled center of badness in the middle of the sea of fallen stars, children have been abducted from all around Faerun, have been brought here something terrible is happening. Over the course of that, several of the children have managed to escape. They've broken the bewitchment of the Hag Coven that we've seen through the eyes of our other players. They've escaped into the surrounding craggy rocks and canyons and caves of this small atoll. And they have over in a sense, generations of their club lost and gathered new members. It's unclear how many have died over the course of the years, but their legend are passed down from teammate to teammate. What's, they hold information about what's happened on this island, what's happened with these hags. What we're gonna pick up the story, where our story largely started last week. And that is our normal players, our normal characters, crashed through Runt and, and Mercy Wallace had crashed through the woods. And they had ended up uh, getting separated. And Mercy went one way, seeing a child beckoning her into the rocks and Runt went another. This is where we'll pick it up. This episode is entitled Bangarang! Exclamation point. Hoot. You are standing at the narrow mouth of a gorge. 
you were startled to hear the crashing sounds of something coming through the, the woods. You alerted your cave full of gang members before you left, asking them to get ready to arm themselves. And you sprinted down the path in time to see a strange black-clothed youth and another young woman, a uh, young girl, exit the forest that separates uh, this path area from the from the hag's boneyard. This dark-haired uh, girl comes running towards you as you begin to call her frantically. And you can see this wave of, of bones, this large mass of bones follow, uh, and you've seen this before, follow the other young girl. Um, at which point, water rises up and smashes this, this bone pile away. And suddenly that blonde, black-clothed blonde um, adolescent is gone. And running towards you is this other girl. And following quick behind her, you can see the ambling, shambling shapes of skeletons. The boneyard being disrupted. And you've seen this happen before. And far off in the distance, you can hear the screams and frantic cackles and blaming voices of the hags in the coven yelling back and forth screaming orders because someone's escaped their grasp she's almost on top of you what do you do All right, um, when she gets close enough I want to give her one of these right here and, and then try and motion her with me quietly into the, the crevasse or whatever we're at. He quickly heads past you, scared, and can use, continues to run up the track. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and hide at the entrance to see if I can see which way, if they're going to follow us or if they're headed in a different direction. Uh, so, the skeleton, the three yes. skeletons, yes. The skeletons yeah. are, are definitely running your direction. Ugh. Okay, then I'm going to GTFO. Okay, you slip between this narrow opening in the in the rocks, and this, this rocky opening opens and widens and opens and widens, and then it reaches a, a slightly larger portion uh, where there are these stone tablets uh, where you and your gang have made uh, their home, and you can hear the clacking of these armored bone soldiers coming in behind. Okay. Um, is everyone just chilling? <laughs> no, having alerted them before you left, you see that uh, Tweet, Hoot, and Buzz are are there. Pardon me. Tweet and Buzz and um, Bark. Uh, Bark are there. Um, you don't see uh, um, the uh, sister Clarissa uh, Clarissa thank you and <laughs> thank you <laughs> and you also see but you also see uh, Bill Corn uh, standing nervously at the back entrance and and calling the kids through and you can see Griffero arming himself and coming towards you to say get behind me I'm getting behind him <laughs> all right run up the track go with the others I'm on it. Okay. Uh, so you had about. Uh, you're now passing the entryway to your um, your cave. Okay. Um, you're heading into a very narrow part of the gorge. You can see that Bill Corn uh, pushes you past and 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 asks you to continue. Um, you can see one of your number. Uh, um, Bark is asking you to go past as well. Tweet and Buzz, what are you doing? Oh, and I and I should say, We're following. Mercy, I'm following who? This this new girl has not seen the entrance to your cave, and she is 
running as fast as she can ahead of you. Heading directly for uh, what you know to be the path of the lights. Can is there any way to grab her? Uh, or is she too you, far you ahead? can you can try catching up to her. Yep, she's she's Oh, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a stone and I'm gonna throw it at her. She screams a small one. <laughs> and she keeps running. I'm gonna go throw another one. She screams again. Ah! And she keeps running and she's she's scraping her elbows and she's pushing past the rocks and she's trying to clamber up. Gosh, where? All right. I'm gonna try and grab her. Okay. You begin pursuing her. She's at a flat out run, uh, impeded by these rocks. Now you are able to make some purchase uh, some gain on her because you have more experience moving among these these this you know undulating crevasse right and and you know you're heading you're heading up the floor is rising as it heads towards the exit to the beach uh, tweet what are you doing uh well i saw them run so i'm just pulling out my double cl- oh. clubs and just snap behind griffro <laughs> and you're behind griffro okay like in between griffro and hoot Two skeletal war, uh, tweet what you see is two, uh, sorry, three skeletal warriors, skeletal warriors, skeletal. They, they, <laughs> they start to sort of amble through. One of them is smashed and tossed to the side as a much larger skeletal golem, uh, pushes past. This thing is massive. Um, you've seen it before. You, you know what this creature looks like. Um, and it is, it is big formed of several skeletons, then, children, and and Griffro moves to try to to uh, block this thing, this thing's path. Okay, if it's that big, then I'm just gonna yeet out of there and say, nope! <laughs> okay, Hoot? Yes. Uh, you see Tweet uh, book it past you. Are you, what are you doing at this point? I'm gonna yell. Uh, hi, where the hell's you going? What? It's, it's too big. Yeah, but that's what? A billion of us. We can handle it. What What? what about Buzz and that girl? Get that out of here, you hear Rogar as he begins to bring his hammer down on this, this golem. And whoo, this big this big war hammer comes down and crashes into the side of this, this standing bone pile. Um... He scores... He, he says dangerous, let's go! He scores a fairly big hit, and the next thing you know is is the the, go- the bone golem kind of turns like it's Ripley in that that mech and aliens. Boom! And it just lifts Griffero up, and he, he is tossed from his feet, and he hits the wall to one side. He doesn't lose his balance, and he regains his composure. And just looks at you, and then and then begins to uh, backpedal towards the tightest part of the rock. It looks like the big gun on its head. So are we going to help him, or are we going to be cowards and run away? Run away! You hear him say, <laughs> and he's 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 back he's backpedaling as fast as he can. You know what? Maybe we should run away. All right, come on then. Let's go. Um, you hear Griffro continue to engage this this uh, bone golem um, as it tries to get he's through the it. rocks, and then he's and then he's continuing to back up, and he's sort of holding. He's looking at you and backpedaling as fast as he can, and and watching for this thing coming through. And you can see that he's having to sort of swat it back every once in a while. You you held it off, big guy. We, we'll go ahead and get out of here. Buzz Mercy Wallace uh, has has moved out ahead of you she's now at the point where um there's the exit to the beach and she continues on straight as fast as she can um she's only about 10 feet ahead of you at this point okay i'm gonna call out to her and be like yo you want to die stop (laughs) and she's absolutely hysterical and she is just pedaling her feet as fast as they can go um i'm gonna take my rope and throw it and try and lasso her Okay. Enough is enough. All right. Is this a just a rope at this point? Yeah. 
with All a right. loop at the end. So you've got a looped rope. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, let's roll a 20. Uh, uh, uh. It's a two. <laughs> it falls at her feet. She looks back, looks at it as if though it's a snake and continues to run forward. Um, Tweet and uh, Hoot, you are now coming up to where you can see um, Buzz. Buzz, do you continue on trying to get her? Yeah, I, I'm trying to get this kid before she hits the beach. All right. So she's not heading towards the beach. She is heading straight uh, up the northernmost elbow. Um, and she's now about 15 feet ahead. Well, she's now 15 feet ahead of you as you've mm -hmm. taken a moment to throw this rope. Um, but you can quickly get into pursuit. Um, can I try and catch up to them? Yep, you are right there, so... The, if I can get close enough to Mercy, then I'm going to pull out my net and try and net her. Okay. Um, you you go ahead and arm yourself with your net. You now reach this where there's a, an opening, um, and Mercy's right in front of you as you take aim. And right before you're about to throw it, she's just she sort of slows her step and begins to kind of stilt uh, like uh, um, she is has a stilted walk and 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 just as you can see her. Um, so go ahead and make your roll real quick. Ten. The ten works because she's almost at a standstill at this point. And your net uh, covers her, and she seems almost not to notice as she stares blankly at ah. uh, a cluster of crystals that are glowing okay. in front of her. And then she takes two or three steps forward as if she's starting to amble down the path, gets tangled in your net, and f falls over like a like a netted fish and is kind of kind of confusedly clawing at the net, trying to get it off not looking at the crystals i'll just try and take the ends of the net and pull her back okay um hoot you are uh now buzz you are able to catch up to tweet uh who you see pulling at this net uh hoot you are there as well if you wish to be grab Where? the ends i okay. will with my weak weak <laughs> weak butt <laughs> try and help pull all right you begin to pull her back into the crevasse in which from which you came um however before before you get very far you can hear more uh, another clash behind you and when you look past you see that griffero has followed bill Corm towards the beach uh bark is with them and he's backing them through the beach entrance, and the large bone golem is continuing to sort of pummel and follow him. Uh, you're a little farther ahead. The bone golem is all on Griffero, and he's trying to fight his way towards the beach. Uh, as Griffero continues to battle this this thing, swatting it away, yelling for Bill Quorum to get to the boat, um, those two skeletal, skeletal, gosh, those two <laughs> skeletal warriors Everybody like drink. <laughs> Those two skeletal warriors um, round him, uh, look right at you, Hoot, and then start to charge towards you. All right, then. Not up, guys. So you, you come through this very narrow part of the gorge. You're now out into this opening um, where you see buzz and tweet hauling this net with a person in it back towards you um you turn to see these two large adult sized uh armored skeletons trying to fight their way sort of you know clawing and snarling their way through this this narrow part in the gorge they're somewhat held up by this really tight part of the the, the canyon walls all right let's smash them then Okay. What do we do about the girl? Don't worry about the girl. Worry about the bones. Okay. The one of them pile like uh, falls into the opening. Um, you are now about ten feet from that opening uh, where the net is, and it is uh, ten feet sort of closer down the track in the direction of the Hag's Coven. Um, the one uh, skeleton writes itself. 
and is swinging this this uh, rusty sword, and the one with the axe comes through and is just sneaking through. Go ahead and roll initiative, please. Ooh. 15. Okay, 15 for Hoot. Tweet. Tweet, 22. <laughs> And Buzz. 11. Tweet, you'll have first in the order. Uh, ah. ske- skeleton with the um, sword will have the next action. And the skeleton with the axe will have an action after Buzz. And Mercy, when she, if she comes to, will be just before Buzz. Tweet. It is your turn to act as you are clustered with your friends. Now, net in one hand, you manage to to tip Merce, Mercy uh, out of the net. And she sort of rolls and begins to sort of dust herself off and stand up. The net is in your grasp, though, if you t- choose to arm yourself with it. I drop the net and I pull out my clubs. My two clubs. Okay. So what do we see at this point? Describe this scene to me. Um, so you've got this this short 15 year old redhead dude with these two clubs in his hand eyeing whatever skeleton is closest and he's got a little smirk on his face he's like oh yeah let's let's do this this kid in my mind he looks like the butcher's boy off of season one of GOT right Uh, whatever his name was (laughs) Um, so he's he's waiting in now uh uh, it's not hot pie. What was it called? Um, was it what's his name? Pie? No, he was, was the one that was. Ru- he was a run. The one oh. that the hound ran down. Remember? Uh, oh, I don't remember. Anyway, his name. he was the one that was uh, Micah. That was his name. Uh, yeah. So, uh, tweet, redheaded uh, tweet. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can only do these this twice tonight. <laughs> Is this going to be the only other? battle we take because if so I would like to baby rage okay you go into your baby rage <laughs> so in comes in comes tweet and <laughs> I'm gonna take one of my clubs in my dominant hand and just get up to whatever skeleton is closest to me and try to give it a good old whack across the face alright that'll be the one with the sword so That is a 16 to hit. That'll be a hit. And that's eight damage. Wow. Uh, Wait, I'm raging. No, I take that back. Plus, what did I say? Eight plus two, ten. Ten damage. You bloody or dusty this this skeleton as you knock one of his his shield (laughs) arm free. His shield arm flies off, uh, carrying his small buckler with it, and he and then he brings his his sword ar- sword arm up and and swings down on you. Uh, with that eight, he will miss, and he swings over your head. Nice try, bruv. <laughs> All right. Uh, would you like to do anything for your action, please? Oh, that was that was my action was Pardon to me, hit for your your free action. Uh, my free action movement. Yep. Uh, did I use all my movement to get up to that guy? No, 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 no. No. Well, I guess I'll just stay with that dude. Okay. That takes us to. Uh, <sighs> um, I'm gonna run up and join in with my club. Okay. Huh. That's a three to hit. Okay, so Hoot, uh, you've got a Rusty Dirk, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. R- Rusty Dirk and Nail Darts. Oh, well, in that case, it's a five to hit. All right. <laughs> um, yes, and you are you are uh, unsuccessful. And I'll just make sure. Just one sec. Hang tight. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, so uh, that swings wide. What, anything else from you at this point? Uh, I want to say quite how dim stale. And that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, that takes us to um, the girl who, who had joined you, who now is standing, and she's starting to slowly walk down the path. Not running, just slowly walking down the path. Uh, that's her only action, so Buzz, we're on you. I would like to blow a dart at the guy with the sword. Okay. And that is a 13. Oh, that, that will um, miss and clank off the... Uh, oh, no, pardon me. That will hit uh, oh, now that he's sweet. shieldless. So okay. you do hit him. Uh, you, However, uh, it will only be the physical damage of the dart. Okay, so that'll be six points of damage. All right. It actually does quite a bit. It knocks his jaw off. Yes. Um, You're like, yes! The axe-wielding... Uh, uh, warrior is now through the rock and he will take a swipe at you, Tweet, um, with a 10. Give it your best shot. And that'll miss. Yes? Ah, yes. Okay. So, um, Tweet, that allows you to respond now at this point. Y'all suck! And you have two in front of you, one undamaged. Well, then I'm just going to keep going to the one that I went after before. Hey. Still baby raging. And I've got two clubs, one in each hand. So my action is just going to be another whack. Whack away. Uh, 14 to hit. The 14 will hit. Yes. And three plus three is that's eight damage. Good, good. And from a bonus action, because I have two clubs in my hands, I can make another attack. And it won't have to be on him, because with the dart hit, uh, you uh. are able to knock the the skull away from this this um, skeletal warrior, and he crumbles into dust. Um, the warrior with the axe takes his place for your second attack. Ooh, that's much better. That's going to be 21 to hit Nine, yep. with 11 damage. Okay. Uh, that's a big <laughs> squat on this one. So um, he is also bloodied. Uh, nothing is knocked loose of this one. Um, so he is readying his axe for another attack. Hoot, you are there and it is your move. Um. Well, I'm going to try and I hit it with my rusty dirk again. Because <laughs> that went so well last time. Great. That is a 19. That hits. All right. So that is a and nine. And that will knock this one down. So you get the killing blow on, on this one who, as you smash it into him, what do we see? What do we see happening here? Um, I'd imagine that uh, she catches it uh, under the skull and then just <laughs> pops the head off. Another head pop. You guys yeah. have done this before, teaming up, uh, and you've uh, you've fought these before, and and the the bones crumble into dust again. You see, Twight, that's how you do it. Pay attention next time. Excuse me, who got the other one? I wasn't paying attention. It's probably Buzz, because you were tripping on your feet. Has... My... Are you saying I have big feet? Hey, has... I don't know how you looked at your feet recently. Well, come in, but... Who has a passive perception better than nine? Me. All right. You hear voices coming from down the um, the um, lit path bouncing off the walls. They sound like sailors coming up from the from the the docks okay uh -oh. um, you can hear that something's going on uh um, people are coming to investigate mm. 
the oh, I see that. dark-haired uh, girl is now quite a ways up the track from you and beginning to round around the corner, Buzz. You're losing sight of her as she goes around this hairpin turn. Um, uh, oh, wait, where, what point is she at? Is she going back towards the lights or no? Nope, she's at the northernmost point of the light path. Uh, Tweet, uh, you've been careful not to look at these lanterns. Um, um, and you've all been engaged. Okay, so I'm going to call out. Yo, we got another problem here. What? And point. Oh god damn it! You just put see my this clubs away and grab the net and put the net away. So this <sighs> this dark haired uh, preteen is is looking at the she's looking at the at the lights and she's you know just just sort of you know in a stunned way just starting around the corner. Okay. Can I she's try and lasso her again, or is she too far away? She about she's about. 25 feet at this point. I got 50 feet of rope. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead and try it. <laughs> should Natural I just... 20. Should I just knock her out? Oh. <laughs> all right. What what you know, uh, just all of you at this point, um, is that at the, fr- at the top, this path, the widest part of it continues around. However, there is another crack farther up on the north east side of this curve another tight crack in the rock she's about 10 feet from it buzz if you want to throw your rope you're welcome to i rolled a 15 um that rope slaps her in the back of the head quite hard it doesn't it doesn't catch uh no actually we're gonna say that it catches on her you you manage to loop it around her head and shoulder good lord okay i'm gonna yank and tighten so it. She falls back. Um, she'll take a point of bludgeoning damage as she falls, falls uh, prone on her back, wakes up, scrambles to her feet, and then looks at you, tugs at the rope, and screams oh, no. at the top of her lungs. Mother just ever. a high pitch scream. I'm going to be like, you two going to go after her or what? Can I knock her out? So you, you have her on the end of this line now, Buzz. Um, and you are at the top of this curve if, you, if you're closing in on her. All right, tweet, hoot. Uh, you can be right there if you want, and you hear footfalls behind you echo- echoing off the off the canyon walls. I'm gonna look to hoot and be like, "Can I knock her out? Got well, people yes, coming." Yes, yes. If you turn tall, wheel. Okay. I'm just gonna take the the blunt end of my club and just go like a whack on her head. See if I, see if I could knock her out. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Jeff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> and <Yeah>. she's dead. <laughs> That's a light Go little ahead. tap. Not right. lethal damage. Well, we're gonna say that you did it exactly where you intended to do it, exactly as hard as you intended to do it, with that roll. Okay. So we'll say the roll was skilled. Okay. Uh, go ahead and tell me how hard that is. Um, I mean, Are hard we in enough. A D- Hard enough to knock her out. All right. Roll uh, a 1d4. Please. Roll oh some gosh. damage, dude. <laughs> Three. Uh, she doesn't get knocked out, but she is stunned. Damn it. And, and she's, she's, um, she's now looking at you and she starts to cry. Oh, my but, God. Twice uh, she uh, can't uh, do anything right. I'll do it. Uh, oh, my God. God. Yo, gag her the, and tie her up. Let's I go. I want to punch her. Uh, just a second. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> While you're punching her, footfalls are coming behind you, in front of you, and now you're at the top of this curve. Everybody is oriented as to where you are in the map. Um, um, yes. Okay. Uh, farther down the curve that now goes out to the Hag's Coven, you hear another sound, and that is the voice of one of, of Gertie Grinder going... <gasps> What's all this? And you can hear that, you know. No, nope, I, nope, I nope, think nope. they're up here. And you hear this this uh, sort of booming voice coming up. Nope, nope, nope. 
I'm going to take out my club and start heading where I hear the footfalls so that I'm the first thing that those sailors see. All right. You are, uh, you don't see them yet. Um, You are now, you have three ways to go. Okay. You can head towards the hag. You can head towards the sailors. There is a crack in the rock. The sailors. Okay. Hi, 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 tweet, what, 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 tweet, what, what, what? tweet. Hey, look what? at that right there. Do you see that? Do you see? Do you see the crack right there? Yeah. It sort of looks like you. <laughs> Pull up your trousers and fight on me. What are we gonna do about the girl? Shit, bring her with us. Put her over your shoulder and let's go. Um, I... You don't need. You don't need to put her over your shoulder. She's almost your size. But as soon as she hears you take control. She grabs onto one of your arms, one of your, the tail of your, sort of the tail of your uh, uh, shirt. Easy, love. Easy on the threads. He's a hard to come by. <laughs> she's, I'm look just, at her she's, getting, like, she's getting tears all over stop. me. I'm going to look at her and be like, stop. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't like hanging out with other people? It's okay. She just wants to die, obviously. <laughs> I'd be like, do you want me to, to gag you? So use the sock and they're very smelly. You don't want that. I think there's something over here. You hear the sailor say. Push her into the crack and like go. Uh, she's clawing sort of back at you. She's she's she doesn't want to leave you just yet. Shut up! I swear to all the yeah. gods, if we get caught, I'm Gertie gonna make sure she gets eaten first. I'm gonna shove my sock into her mouth so she shuts up and push her. <laughs> As you as you smash her nose, um, her nose begins to bleed, and she sort of backs away from you, and then uh, realizes that there's space behind her, and kind of, you know, is is clawing at it, almost as if she's in the dark. But she's just she's sort of moving through this this tight cavern. Good God, she just girl, left her. you are an idiot. She just you? left her. Why did we bring her? Wow. She just left her. You know, Buzz. I have to say, I was I was just trying to threaten the girl. I had no idea you'd do something that cruel. Uh, she's Don't about ten. Up. She's ten feet into the crack now. All right, well, let's follow her. Make sure she doesn't get herself killed. You guys go first. Get all of I'll be the last one in. You're really, she's gonna get us killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, whatever. We'll make sure she's okay. As you squeeze into this crack, you can hear that armored um, men are um, continuing past past you. And then the next thing you hear is you hear some sort of a fight erupt. Um, as apparently they surprise one of the hags and she decides to take a swipe at some of them angrily. And you can now hear that uh, they begin to run away. <laughs> They're running away back the other way and you hear sort of a bone snap and, and some you know, sort of gushy sound as, as someone's heart is removed. Well, that's um, not going to end well. No, probably not. Moving through this high crag in the rock, Who's directly behind Mercy? I think that's me at this point. Okay, Buzz, she's she's staying ahead of you ten feet, um, and she's she's moving, and and uh, you're all moving about the same pace. Two rounds later, um, Buzz, you emerge and you see her stumble into this slightly wider part. Um, next to her lies a. Uh, a skeleton, actually, but it's not a animated skeleton. It's actually just sort of the remains of a of of um, a long dead skeleton. And there's there's uh, a rotten shield uh, laying over one part of their body with a few remnants of cloak uh, underneath it. And um, uh, yeah, that's what you see. Um, oh, and there's uh, you can see that there's still underneath the. There's bones underneath the shield and some odd bits of cloth. And Have we been in these caves before? You have been in these caves before. Um, uh, not we this... have an idea of... Okay. I was going to wonder if we have an idea of where it might come out at. What you know from your talks with the rest of your group is that this will lead to an opening that opens into the boneyard. It'll continue on, but nobody ever ventures quite past that. Um, you haven't been much farther than this, and 
you are uh, hoot. You're, you've been warned uh, not to really. You, you guys don't mess around up here. A lot, a lot. This is. Was new. this where we lost the other two kids? Back in, um, in the there place? have been kids that have gone in here and have not come out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that seems to be stories that have that have gone back. You know, several years, several months, anyway, months and years. Oh, well, this is bloody brilliant. This is great. This is great. We're all going to die down here if we don't catch up there. Well, you were the one who told us to come in here. Oh, would you rather meet the old hag, then? Yes, you would. Maybe it'd be your heart in the mouth right now. That's what I thought. Stick with me. I'll keep you alive. I got the smarts. Remember that. You can see Mercy Wallace is down next. She hasn't told you your name yet, but anyway, there you go. She's down, <laughs> and she's she's kind of... She's kind of collecting herself, and 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 her, her voice is hoarse as she removes this dry sock from her mouth. <laughs> She's coughing at you, Buzz. Yeah, why don't you two talk to her? I don't want to talk to her. Yeah, sorry about that, love. Um, I didn't think she'd actually do it. I apologize. You like <clears throat> serves her right. She's gonna get us killed. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's just sort of sputtering with a dry throat. Hand her some water. She's, she takes the the water and takes a big drink of it, sort of greedily, and immediately you see her calm, and her nose, where it was red, the red washes away, and she <sighs> takes a few breaths, and you can see immediately it's as if her mood is bolstered, and you know this effect. You have seen it with the the waters uh, of this island. And she Does she it... looks at you calmly and she says, thank you. And she hands it back to you. Finally. You should stop crying. I don't know what got over me. And she sort of kicks the shield to the side and picks it up and looks as if it's useless, but it just kind of the strapping, the iron strapping comes away in her hand and, and she kicks at the bones and she bends back down, removes this piece of cloth and puts her hand around a handle and stands up and from the dirt floor she kind of removes this this hand axe you know it's a short hand axe and she sort of looks at it knowingly well, at least she knows what to do yeah that's a good girl arm yourself arm yourself I'm 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 Mercy Wallace and Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. no we don't. We don't eat. use names here. No, 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 no. 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 What should we call her? Tears? Or uh, uh, maybe Crybaby? <laughs> Which do you think? Crybaby's a good one. I like that. Yeah. There's no need mm. to be cruel. It's true. It's not being cruel. It's true. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what? Look at the way she picked up that axe. Mm-hmm. That's pretty brave of her, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So maybe she can be axed or something. Well, it's got to be a name, right? I mean, all, or not a name, a sound. All of our names are sounds. A sound? Well, what sound does an axe make? Uh... Squish? Squish, yes. All right, then. She can be squish. Swish? Swish? It's squish. Mm-hmm. Squish. Squish. <sighs> yeah, pay attention. Read my lips, girl. But, it's squish. But my name... Swish isn't my name. Your name is squish. <laughs> Look, here. Shake, nice to meet you, squish. I'm hurt. This here is Buzz, and this best big dummy to my right is Tweet. Aye. Aye. All right, just fine, fine. Down. This, this okay. normal size dummy to my right is Tweet. Okay. Why are you here? I, I, I was well, following... We're, we're saving your ass, is what we're doing. I was following that other girl, and the bones, they rose up. We ran away from hags. There's hags on this island. Oh, yeah, that no. that girl was very brave. She she led the bones away from you, so you you owe her your life. Hi. My friends are back. I was looking after the kids that are with the hags. Can we well, do we, do we go back and help them? What do we do? No, 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 no. Oh no, yeah, no. not right oh, now. No, 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 definitely not right now. That's a bad idea. No, uh, I mean right now. I mean, as long as it's not being followed, we can probably, you know, head back to a hideout, right? Could. Yeah, just put the kettle on and, and settle in. I don't know, well, I'd give it a little while. Those hags seem pretty interested in uh, whatever was coming up the path. Well, we, That's true. We, we can't s- 
stay out for too long. I mean, Clarissa's still over there. Oh, crap. Well, do we go back the way we came or do we keep moving forward? We could probably where try and go. the place that we don't want to go? I say go around. Wait, you got on back or something? No, we're not. We can't go back. There's hags and sailors. Well, if we can't go back, then we have to go forward. All right, everybody, group up. Let's go. Forward is bad. Forward's very bad, but back is bad too. You know what? Do you remember what they were talking about? There's spiders up here. Do we want to go after spiders or do we want to go after hags and sailors? Take the spiders over the hags. hags Yeah, I mean, we got a new person joining us. Her name's Squish. She's perfect for the spiders. She's got an axe and a shield. It's fine. It's It's fine. It's fine. Buzz, this shield. This this shield isn't worth anything. Uh, What are you talking about? This is a fine shield, and I want to hit it like really hard. (laughs) And it just, it just sort of goes bang. (laughs) Wow, I've never seen a shield quite like that. Oh my god, this girl's dead. (laughs) Amazing. It's beautiful, love. Beautiful. But uh, you know we gotta get out of here because we're gonna die if we don't. Yes, all right, all right, it's fine. We can get out of here now. Someone lead the way. Just very, very quickly. Who is the last uh, person? Who's the one closest to the crack you just came through? I brought up the rear. You hear a breathing. Tweet. I hear you. Uh-uh. Run, I, run, 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 you hear this echoing, growling voice. Come to Gertie! Fuck you, Gertie! Come to Gertie! <laughs> and the screaming continues. As... I'm just running and flipping the bird. All yeah, right, let's run. You begin to run down this slightly wider path. It's not hard to run. Um, let, I'd like to know your order, though. Uh, I grabbed Mercy and ran as soon as I heard Gertie, so probably Mercy and I. Mercy and Buzz are first. Then, Second tweet last. Yep, yeah, I'll yep. bring up the rear. Sounds good. Um, so you begin to careen through this, pinball through this this rocky outcropping. You're running for quite a few minutes, and you're sort of dodging to the side and the rest of it. Um, uh, I would like you, please, to... Um, uh, go ahead and roll survival for me, I think I'm going to call it. Oh, a natural one. You run headlong into a web. Uh-huh. Both you and and Mercy run headlong into this web as the entrance to one of these, uh, what the caves begins to widen slightly. And you come off your feet, both of you, with the force of the web. And you're just sort of dangling there. You see this right away as their their feet are sort of lifted up, and they're in this thick mass of web. And I immediately start to try and cut them down, yeah. um, making sure not to touch the web with any part that's attached to me. All right, you are you you start to slash at this this web with your your uh, dirk. Uh, you're, you're, it's starting to it, it, your dirk wants to kind of get hung up. Um, but you are able to cut, uh, begin to cut uh, some of the the web free in one round. You, as, as Tweet joins you, you're able to sort of cut a quarter of Buzz free. What's all this? It looks like a spider web to me, genius. Oh. <laughs> I heard it quit your yapping and cut us down. Uh, what does it look like we're trying to do, love? Hey, God, it's not it's going fast enough. Uh, Mercy begins to struggle against the web and... Swish! Uh, Stop! Doesn't seem to be Don't move. able to, to move. Uh, Buzz, you were able to try to tear yourself free if you'd like. I'm working on it. Okay, roll a strength check for me, please. If we wiggle these one. webs, it might wake up the spider. Uh, an eight. Uh, you are held fast as you continue to cut. So who... In the next round, you're able to cut another quarter of Buzz free. Is one of my arms free yet? 
one of your arms is free. I'm going to take my rapier out and start helping cut. Okay, so you're trying to awkwardly cut the other side of you. A tweet? I don't have any sharp things, so I'm just going to be looking around, making sure a spider doesn't come down from the ceiling. All right. You begin to, you become very vigilant. Mercy uh, makes another check and is able to sort of tear herself free. Um, you can see that she falls onto her back and only one foot is is remaining caught and she begins to kick it wildly trying to get it free from the web. Hold still, I'll cut it off. Uh, Buzz, you are half free. Uh, we're going to say actually you're, you're almost free because you're cutting, helping Hoot. What are, what are each of you doing at this point? Hoot, you're still cutting. Buzz, you're cutting. Tweet, you're looking around. Mercy is kicking, flailing on the ground. <laughs> Again, got, she has her, her hatchet and she's trying to cut at the, at the uh, webbing around her foot. Another round passes, Hoot, and you're able to uh, cut Buzz free. The web in front of you hangs in tatters. Tweet. Roll... 24 perception, please. <laughs> Four. Everything looks fine so far. Um, there is nothing in your field of view. Um, you are now standing in front of this ragged piece of web. About 15 feet down the track, you can see that there is another mass of web, and the rock walls appear to widen out. However, you also notice that there's webs higher up on the rocks, and you can see the cocooned remains of of something, large seabirds or something, are up in up in these these rocks. Um, you also see uh, some cocoons farther down. Okay, and some of them are, are are desiccated and look like they've been sucked dry of whatever's in them. But these are more the size of sort of I don't know. They're they're you know, sort of three foot long, really tidy pods. Okay. Is, is there, is the web like covering the entire entrance of that path or there's like an opening? Uh, you can see that the web, web sort of curtain one side and there's some support strands and then you could, and then beyond that there's sort of, so it's kind of like this staggered, you know, spy movie with the laser beams kind okay. of maze. But there's a path to get in there if you... You you can see that there's a way to move around through these if you if you so choose. Oh man, oh man, you guys, this is not a good idea. Uh, what are we supposed to go though? The hags were behind us. Oh man, we have to keep going. We just got to be very careful. That's all. Just Mercy, go slow. Mercy places herself between uh, Buzz and Hoot with her axe held up high. She got an axe and she didn't even cut herself out of that. What the fuck? Okay, oh, fine. So she, she's, she's sort of, you know, on her guard. She's holding it like this. Um, like, as move? you continue, you, you, what's that? Oh, I'm gonna look at them and be like, "Can we move, please?" Yeah. So you, you, I'm and she begin waiting to move. on you. Uh, you are. You just reached the next, the first challenge, the first. Uh, this one, the webbing is largely on the right side of the path, and there are three cables. Uh, that leave a little bit of, of space around the left side of the path. Well, there. after you, leader. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll go first. Although, um, uh, Squish, maybe you should go first, actually. You've got, uh, you've got the X. Your name's Squish. I bet you're really good against spiders. She doesn't... She's scared, but she doesn't seem scared enough to stop. And so she begins to step over the first um, uh, uh, spider web and is able to round the first one. You see her go around. Um, is everyone following her? Yeah, I'll, I'll go that. You say she's a natural. Let's just all do a quick dex check, please. Just straight dex or like acrobatics or something? Your if you yeah, this will totally. just be carefully moving around it. Um, Ugh, I rolled a natural one that day. 15. Going in jail. All right. Um, you, uh, you are 
Buzz, you're right behind um, uh, Swish, and she and and your ankle catches on one of the cables. And Hoot, you see this, and the cable sticks to your your um, your foot, but not enough to really hold you. Instead, you can just hear the cable go from oh no, like a like a bass string. Way to go, Twinkle Toes. Um, okay, uh, passive perception. Anybody have over a 15? Ooh, uh, no. Okay. Um, you don't see anything. The, uh, <laughs> um, Mercy's arrived at the second, um, set of webs. She carefully inches her way around that one. Um, and Buzz, you're right behind her. Everybody roll a check, please. Well, that's better. Uh, what are we rolling, Dex? Yes, please. 21. 16. 22. Everyone makes th- that web. Uh, Mercy arrives at the last one, and she begins to step over it. The three of you are between this last one. You can see now beyond that a widening of the path, a great widening of the path, in fact. Um, it's got to flow like water. She carefully brings her toe up. Uh, over the last cable and she looks forward and then she brings her foot and she stumbles slightly and her toe catches on the cable in front of her the lowest one that's holding this web damn it swish Uh, all right she steps into the clearing like everything is okay and motions you forward. All right, you guys, chase it. Let's go. Going. Mm-hmm. Quick decks, everyone, please. Oh, shit. Dirty 20. 20, 20, 20 22. Eight. As, as your hand or shoulder strikes the one up. You're now all in this clearing. You can see the boneyard through a mass of webs to the south. You can see another egress farther on that seems to be free of of webs at this point, other than a few high up on the rocks. Um, well? Hang on, please. Rocks fall on both sides behind you tumbling down the rock face and striking the web uh, closest to you and suddenly you see this gravel and rock kind of get hung up in the in there uh, in those webs and I don't like that sound as you look up you see two spiders have dislodged rocks on either side And you can see they were trying to be somewhat careful. There's a third spider that hasn't dislodged any rocks. They are farther. They're almost that spider is almost directly above you uh, on a cantilevered piece of rock. And you can see them as the, as the four of you are staring up at them. And the one that seemed most hidden sort of is now penduluming and turning on a, on a piece of filament of thread and you can see it sort of turns around and these you know, dozen or so eyes lock onto you. It seems as each one of each pair of eyes has a uh, a, a bead on each four of you and these two mandibles begin to click and then it opens up the mandal- mandibles and it looks right at you and it goes and it begins to descend quickly, and it drops through this. Okay, so I want each of you to make a... Uh, tell me what you're going to do at this point, because now this thing is plummeting towards you. Two more are skittering down the wall. Oh. Oh, no. Trying to back up and get some distance with these... All see right. the big picture. Draw my bow and knock an arrow. All right, you Got begin to draw a bow. Um, you're keeping, if you're making distance, tweet, you're heading east. Um, uh... And Buzz, Mercy heads after you, Tweet, backing up quickly. And 
buzz? Yes. Oh, you're heading as well? Yep. Okay. All right. You are in a mass as these three spiders drop to the ground in front of you. And the first, and just another initiative check, please. Oh my god. That's <laughs> awful. Can I have anybody that's over 25? Anybody over 15? 19. Okay, I keep wanting to call you Dean. <laughs> okay, Have it. Uh, anybody over 10? Anybody over 5? Oh, you're over 10, Buzz. Where are you at? Uh, 15. Okay, and for you, Hoot? 9. All right. The first spider scrambles up as soon as it dropped, and it begins to run at you, Hoot with your uh, arrow knocked. It's just, it's coming after you, like an R-O-U-S. Here we go. Uh, It will lunge out at you and um, it's going to try to bite you. All right. Uh, It will... um, Okay, 14. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, it takes <laughs> a. You feel a searing blow um, as it bites into your shoulder. Um, you're going to take five points of piercing damage. Ooh. And I need you to roll con save, please. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, no. Uh, 14. All right, and you do save, uh, and you feel this wave of nausea roll over you quickly. Uh, don't forget about your temporary hit points, everyone. Oh, yeah, they're gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you can then retweet. You are right there seeing your friend Pete. Uh, get bit. Oh, man. And I should say these spiders are large. I mean, these mm-hmm. are, they're not, they're not the largest of the large spiders, but they are the size of, you know, large dogs, small bears, kind of thing. Okay, okay that's not that big. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I thought he was going to say cars. <laughs> no, no, not giant. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm not going to rage. I'm just going to go up to the spider that's the closest and take two swings. Okay. Whack, whack. This is the largest of the spiders. Uh, go ahead. I'm at me, bruv. Uh, the first one is an 18 to hit with seven damage. Thank you. And the second one is going to be a 14 to hit. Both hit. And with five damage. Okay. Uh, well struck. Um, that one... <laughs> And kind of flattens to the ground and and kind of reels, it pinwheels in a circle. I just scream uh, back of, at co- it. Kind of confused as its two smaller brethren, brethren flank it. Um, we are now at you. Uh, <sighs> so uh, Spider Two comes in on you, Tweet. Uh, it will miss with a bite attack. Buzz, you're up. Um, where am I in relation to the big spider? Uh, you are behind. Uh, hoot and tweet. Uh, it is in front of them. Can I sneak around behind it? Yes. Uh, that'll be a 24 to hit. Um, sorry, you need to make a successful sneak, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that'll be a natural 20 for the sneak. Uh, okay. You make it past its many eyes. And sorry, your your attack roll was? Uh, 24. That hits? Uh, so that'll be... 4, 7 points. It has to roll a con for the poison, though. The 7 almost does it, and the con, and the con save is a... 13. Yep. Uh, it fails its con and and um, runs 
away from you, snarling as you've gouged into its uh, abdomen. So it'll take an additional six points. Yep, it makes it about six feet up the wall in retreat and then kind of goes, and its legs do that funny spider thing where they they all point at each other and then it just kind of falls backwards and twitches. That's gross. It's two friends are uh, now on you. Um, Spider three is going to actually round around and attack at Mercy. She manages to fend it off with her her blade. Uh, it's then her attack. Oh, pardon me, Runt. I missed you in the order. You mean Hoot. <laughs> I, I mean Hoot. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to back up and take a shot with the short bow. Okay. You knock an arrow and let fly. Uh, oh, my God. Oh my. This is l- literally like the fifth two I've rolled. Yep. You hits a rock, skitters off. Mercy Do your is a jaw boot. Mercy gets a solid. I'm trying. Hit. I'm trying. Uh, in on it. Pull your weight. (laughs) Spider one is dead. Spider two is in front of you now, Tweet, and it is your turn. Ayo, squish. Gonna bang my clubs together and go whack, whack. Whack, whack, whack. Okay. Let her rip. Um, First hit is 16 with eight damage, and second one is 15 with six damage. Bloodied that spider looks pretty squashed. Um, See you? That's how it's done. It <laughs> turns on you, Buzz, and goes for a uh, a, a bite rolling in a 16. That'll hit. Okay. Go ahead and roll in a uh, uh, time save, please. Natural one. Oh. So many ones tonight. I buy Buzz. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> okay, um, you will take five points of piercing damage and an additional four points in uh, necrotic poison. Necrotic poison. Oh no! Pardon me. Ooh. Pardon me. Poison. Uh, but you are. Um, you can feel your legs thicken, and you. Drink the water. You, you sort of fall backwards and are are per, uh, paralyzed against the oh, wall. Oh. Um. Uh, that'll take us to you, Hoot. <sighs> All right, so the I'm same gonna... spider that just bit Buzz is in front of you. I'm going to try and shoot it with my bow, but okay. using a different dice to do so. So you're pulling your bow away from the spider on Mercy and towards the spider on Buzz. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, God. Uh, 24 to hit. Hit. Four. Uh, eight damage. You managed to kill the one that just bit... Uh, buzz. The lone remaining spider advances on Mercy. Don't say I've never done anything for you, Buzz. Remember that. Gets awfully close to biting her, but she's able to fend it off one more time. Um, but now it sort of has her against one of the rocks as she's fighting against it. She takes a wild swing at it and misses um, the spider. That's the lone remaining spider. Tweet, we're on you now. You are... I have to do all the work in this group. I'm going to go up to that spider and just smash it. Roll it. Uh, 15 for the first hit and not great damage. Only four. And then <laughs> You 13? crack a piece of its exoskeleton. Second? The, second, the second swipe doesn't hit it and kind okay. of glances away off the slime that you, <laughs> just, you just exposed. 
<laughs> Buzz, you are out of the the fight for now, and here comes Hoot. Oh, uh, another shot with the arrow. Uh, twenty three. Eight. That'll hit. Or five damage. Okay, that spider is still standing. Um, uh, Mercy will take one more swipe at it and miss it. It will take another bite at Mercy. Um, it just go, it just misses, uh, and then it will round around for its action and begin to uh, mount one of the walls to the left and skitter up and begins to sort of prime its back legs and aims its rear end at you. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, and we're at you, Tweet. Um, I'm gonna, for my free action, should I do this? Yeah, let's try. I'm gonna drop my clubs, grab my net, and just try to whoosh on the spider. Sure. Um, what is it for? 15! It skitters uh, away from you. Um, you manage to catch its legs uh, as it tries to move away, and your net sort of hangs on the rock with it underneath, and it panics for a minute. Um, and uh, uh, seems to sort of struggle underneath this this net. So we're at you, Buzz. Uh, you are still paralyzed. Pardon me. Hoot, we're to you. <laughs> Take a That's shot right. at the one on the, In the net. Get away. There you go. Thirteen. Uh, that will that will miss. Um, it lets loose a blast of web. But the blast of web is is sort of contained within your net. It's like and kind of harmlessly right. sort of comes out, um, hey, that's really nasty. covering covering a lot of the mesh of your net. Uh, um, you uh, might not want to keep that anymore. I'm gonna have to clean. Mercy, it's my lucky net. Mercy sort of backs up and then throws her hand axe at the at the. Um, Spider. Bad guy. Yep, spider thanks. <laughs> Arachnid. The the hand axe actually strikes, and so she's able to um she's able to stick that axe right into the spider, and you can see its its feet slowly release from the wall, and the net and the axe and the spider and the webbing uh, begin to sort of tumble and careen off, sticking like one of those rubber octopus. You know, as it sort oh, of rolls yeah. and tumbles down the the um, wall and then hits the dirt, and a cloud of dust comes up and and just covers your net. Um, but the spider right. twitches and then no longer moves. So that's not bad, Squish. Good job. Buzz, you sit uh, paralyzed, watching all of this unfold, standing sort of uh, against the wall. I'll go over to Buzz and take that canteen of the water and stuff it in his mouth. See if it does anything. Okay. You are able to... You feel the water heading down your your throat. Um, And I would like you to... First of all, you feel the feeling come back into your body. As the poison is washed, <laughs> um, you will regain four hit points. Okay. Um, and you can take those as temporary if you have space. Um, I do not. Okay. Um, well, but well, well. This water is Boy, good stuff, you. and you feel it. Um, wash away the remnants of this uh, of this poison. I'm gonna try to go back to the spider and get my net. Just say stupid spider and my lucky net. Oh, no, I don't think it's lucky anymore, dear. <sighs> but it's the one oh. that my dad gave me. It's my favorite yeah. net. 
when you get home, your dad can give you a new one. He's, he's fine. Guys? Yeah. What? 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 I go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just leave it here. Your father can get you a new one. Let's go. Fine. I kick the spider and see if it's... I'm coming back you for can, you later. No, you can get that net loose, I should say. You do get the net loose. It's a little bit sticky and quite heavy because it's now covered in sort of dust. Um, it's hard to handle and it is sticking to your your hands. Um, you're able to re- retrieve Mercy's axe and hand it to you. Hand it to her. Good job, Swish. Um, just sort of off to your side is the main opening into the boneyard. Um, you can see a large form silhouetted against the silk of the spider webs that cover this portion of the of between the rocks, kind of like a screen. Um, and this silhouette is kind of cackling and snarling and you can see it sort of it's quite a ways away but it's kind of moving back and forth and then you see this the this large shadow sort of form from whatever light is being cast against this thing it starts to shrink even though it's still quite huge as it seems as it moves towards this large heavy webbed webbed uh, entrance so it's coming up to these webs that's probably not good, right? Nope. Nope. Off in the well, distance, you can see that the webs are relatively clear, and you can see that there's another crack heading directly east that is quite narrow. Our leader? Where are we hey, going all right, now? all right, all right. Follow me, follow me. Let's go. Keep up, mind you. I'm not going to slow down with your leg in behind. Just don't get stuck on any more webs. You so begin to stick he- you, sweet. Behind you, you start to smell this this odd burning smell, like burning hair, as a a green flame, greenish-purplish flame, begins to show itself on the other side and and tear away and burn away at this web wall. Sweet, did you set your hair on fire again? No. I mean, I do Uh, like these things burns, but (laughs) not my hair. That was you. Okay. Oh, sorry, but I get you too go? confused sometimes. It's yep, fine, yeah, fine. Mercy's, go, let's go. Mercy's moving with you. She reaches this crossroads where there is a narrower path that heads back to the boneyard. Um, no webs, but you can see the boneyard through it. Um, and then you can see a very narrow crack right in front of you. Uh, not unlike the one that you've climbed through before. And this hey, look, there you, crack. that crack's the same size as you. <laughs> You're so funny. But the size of your eyes. Let's go. Who pushes through first? Uh, Hoot. I kick him. All right, you. It's all. It's a very <laughs> short little uh, passage, and it immediately widens out into a small sort of an alcove. Kick him in the ass to push him out. <laughs> easy, easy. I've got a sensitive bottom. You can hear a Gertie grinder now making it through, and she's. Come on, then, and she and you can see her. Uh, whoever's last in line can see her advance around the corner with this huge, bloodied, um, freshly bloodied, massive cleaver that she's holding. She's wearing an apron and she's got blood <sighs> down it. And she's like, "Come on, me pretties!" And she's 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 coming at, after, and she says, "Oh, we're only missing one, but I'll take you three. Are you ah. four? And so she's she's begins to cackle and and run towards you. Uh, Hoot, you are through. Who's next in line? I'm behind Hoot. Okay. Uh, you go through Tweet. Mercy follows. She's uh, near you, Buzz, um, as you were the last one to get through this crack in the rock. Oh, I'm booking it through the crack. All right. You push through just as this clawed hand goes, get back here, and she, she grasps Shoot her in the you. face. And she's, yeah, she's sort of face, struggling, face. struggling I'm to take get... one of my poison darts and go <laughs> at her face. All right, go ahead. She's got a big face. Just shoot in the face. She's oh, got a big yes. for the nose. Okay. It's huge. 20, 24. Hits. Yep. Okay. So it's a D4 and a, uh, she needs to make a con. As we're walking away, just give Gertie one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, Go ahead. Uh, so it'll be an initial four points of damage. And then did she make her con or no? Well, she's got damage resistance to piercing, so she will probably... Take I don't half think that. She... So she'll take two piercing, but she wouldn't have resistance to the necrotic. She does not have resistance to poison necrotic, no. Okay. So that'll be seven points of necrotic if and she, she fails. Yeah, she though. fails her save, and so the... the the sea urchin venom and she screams and she crawls as, as a series of large you can see a large boil sort of immediately rise on her face like a huge pimple and then just like yeah. flap and just blow up on the side of the and she goes you and she she sort of crawls and then she sort of backs off again um, but she, she continues she continues <laughs> to reach for you buzz and I'm gonna laugh in her face and then run up the path. okay um, her, she. You can see the clawing and the scraping continue on behind you. It's not that far behind you now. I want you to to listen to this part. You are in this alcove. The one wall on the northern side is actually farther back. There's a series of steps that go up to a small plateau that um, uh, you can you can rise up onto. And at the top of that, you see two what look like pillars and a stone lintel uh, over the top of it. You see a... Um, the track continues on farther down away from you. But here are these three large steps and this flat, and the you can see that the, the hag is kind, of, is kind of angry and then just... Re- she sort of retracts her claws and she, she fades away for a moment. Good job, Buzz. Yeah, it was a good job, Buzz. I mean, it, almost as good as I could have done, but a good job, but a good job. Excuse me, you didn't hit a hang, did you? You know what? I, you know what? You know hey, what? We, we were the ones we who told you to do it. We, we should go up the stairs. We should go up the stairs. Let's go um, up the stairs. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going up the stairs. <laughs> all right. Up, when you rise up on the stairs, uh, uh, are, are the... Th- is everybody else with you? Um, yeah. Mercy's kind of wondering what to do, and she'll sort of take a, a few cautious steps up. You are on this landing that's about, you know, 10, 15 square feet of of flattened top. There is this doorway. This looks almost like a mine shaft or something, but it's much more ornate. And when you look down on the ground, you see this uh, embossed um, circle with several points radiating it from it, carved into the rock. Um, It's as though it's just very subtly risen. um, And you see that it's like this point and then a circle and then a bunch of radiating arms that are half in the opening of this and half out. Like it's a... Uh, it's a cartouche or something that's that's just had been carved into this flat, hewn into this flat uh, floor. I think this is a cartouche or something that's been hewed into what? this floor. What the hell is a car 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 carpouche? Don't worry about that right now. Um. All right, so one of us should probably touch it. Oi, I'm not gonna be touch me. it. All right, fine, you, you touch it. Cowards. All right, I'll touch it. I'll touch it. I'll touch it. Yeah, it's stone. Uh, it doesn't feel like it does anything in particular. It's well, you say it's perfectly safe, you bunch of whiny babies. As you move forward, though, you can see past the cartouche this this opening, this darkened opening that's back into this, you know, this mine or whatever it is. You're not sure yet. I think this is a mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And I thought I was a genius. <laughs> so observant. All right, follow me. Let's go. And and babysit a buzz. Why don't you bring uh, Squish along with us? Fine. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> babysitter. You, you uh, enter this um, darkened space. You can see the remnants of some spider webs, but it doesn't appear to be any sort of active spiders. Um, here is this this cave uh, or room that's been carved out of the rock 
the back end of this appears to be uh, somewhat uh, crumbled, uh, as if there may have been a door back there at one point, but now it just seems to be natural rock. However, there doesn't seem to be any debris or anything. As your eyes adjust to the light coming in from the canyon walls, uh, you can see that there are what appear to be paintings uh, on both the left and the right wall. There also appears to be something uh, at the back wall. And your eyes are, unless anyone there has... uh, Somebody with dark vision can have a little bit more luck, but it's it's sort of halfway between and it's twilight, and so you just can't quite see everything. Oh, I don't think I have dark vision. Okay. No. So I'm as your I'm a as human. Your, as your eyes continue to adjust, the details of this these these scenes begin to come out. Um, you have three choices. You can see that there's scenes on three walls opposite the door. I go to the left. The left from the door. There you can see that there is a... um, Yes. So there you can see that you see this ship with silvery sails. And the light seems to catch these sails a little bit and blow this glow this strange sort of as if it's painted with silver. Um, and there's this great gray white, you know, silvery boat that's riding the waves. And at the helm of this large boat are three large silvery uh, giant kind. Um, you can they have large, funny ears and. Uh, friendly faces and they and there's human crew around them and th- the deck of this boat is loaded up with gifts and presents and um, food and you can see that there's these depictions all around the outside of these lands where children uh, stand smiling but hungry so it's like all the nations or uh, kingdoms around uh, these these abstract nations that are around are being visited by these these giant kind in this boat who are delivering food. Oh my god, you guys! This painting is fucking rad. Check it out. It's a boat. Uh, you know, you know, it's so uh, awesome. You know, I love I'm, boats. I'm something of a painter myself. I could probably do this. And I'm gonna kick who and be like, "Yeah, you wish." Look at that I boat. Know. You don't know. That's, a, that's the best as bloody you, boat I've ever seen. As you follow the the mural around on the back wall, you can see that there's a depiction of a small island. Which, having been here for so long, immediately the three of you know that this is the island that you are on. Um, this island shows this opening in the center of it and all around the the frame of this mural are the rocky crags which form a crude map in the northwest corner uh, you can see a depiction of a doorway with with a ship's wheel uh, on the floor in front of it and you quickly recognize that this is where you are you also see that there are there is a glowing silvery uh, moon shape that's just around the bend from where you are um, a little ways on Uh, and then you can see the opening where the hag's uh, keep is instead of the hag's keep being there there is this um, gathering this large gathering of all different races and you can see that they're arraigned around several standing stones and they appear to be worshipping and in the center there there's this depiction of this beam of light that's coming down and bathing all of these people with their arms outstretched um, and those same three furbolgs are pictured at the center um, offering up uh, some sort of worship in this and this is this picture of, of this island um, and all of these pilgrims attending to it 
uh, enjoying a, a moon festival. Hey, hey, wait a tick, wait a tick. You what, guys, what, what? you guys say this. Yeah, kind of looks hey. like that thing in front of our cavern. But are you thinking what I'm thinking? I, I, I don't know. I don't think very often. This, I mean, this was some grand restaurant before, right? Like a tavern. Right. Where everyone's come to enjoy some sort of meal. That's why all those hungry children were in the last one. Do we see mm. any symbols on it? On this thing? Yep. You see a whole bunch of symbols of this semicircle. You see symbols of um, wheat sheaves. You see symbols of uh, uh, gauntleted ha- uh, hands. But mostly you see the symbol of the moon. And you see an array of stars around it. I'd be like, uh, guys, wasn't that lady wearing that? Yeah, and that, that big dragon dude, he was also wearing something with that that one right. with the eye. As you continue so they around... They must have worked here before, yes? Yeah. As you continue yeah. around to the next panel, you find um, the last of these three murals. Here, there's a small, smaller elvish maiden uh, in silvery long flowing silvery cloaks and she is visiting uh, here she's now greeting this this um, these boats sailing into the harbor of this island and welcoming welcoming them ah, welcoming them to to pray um, this elven maiden is bathed in in moonlight um, you can see uh, there seems to be other godlike um, people around her and these same furbolgs uh, are in front of her now this maiden is welcoming people to the island but she sits on the, on the prow of this same ship that you see in the opposite wall and the large female uh, druid Furbolg stands um, directly in front of the wheel uh, pictured on this mural. It's about the size of a large coin. And she's, she's holding her hands up like this and the light seems to catch that wheel. It catches the sails. I would like uh, each of you just to quickly roll perception for me. Uh, two. Ooh, 19. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Tweet. What you notice is that unlike the rest of these art, some of them have sort of inlaid silver and whatnot. Um, the one thing that catches your eye is the fact that of everything that's on this these murals the wheel of the ship is um it's in relief in the same way as the the wheel on the floor and you you now see that the cartouche is a large wheel and this is a is a little depiction of that this large fur bulga standing in front of in this scene The, the fur bulg is standing... About this tall, in picture, painted uh, in front of the ship's wheel as the goddess of the moon is on the front of the, wheel, of, of the boat welcoming her parishioners. Hmm. I'm gonna poke it. Or pilgrims. <laughs> Sweet, what are you thinking? What? Well, this, this, this thing looks like that thing. But, like, shouldn't we get that lady? I think she would know more about it than us. I don't know. I don't trust adults. Adults are stupid. Yeah, but she was wearing the the thing on her head. So? So she would know more than we do. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What if I told you about thinking? Buzz, that was a brilliant idea, and I love it. Thank you. Wait, uh, really quickly, what? how many hit points do you have? Eight. Uh, yeah, tweet, eight. tweet. Oh, t- I have all my hit points. I have yet to be hit. The you feel a glowing, a warm glowing inside of you. 
the remnants Shiver. of the last water that you drank seems to glow in your belly. And it's as if veins of light briefly appear on your on your wrist and your arms and course towards your your finger and as you touch this wheel you just see a spot of light like a little spark and the wheel dislodges and falls into your hand look i did it's, something it's tiny but yay big see, and I'm it, a going, great going great going you broke it and in behind it as you put as you draw your hand away from the wall, there's an opening in behind there and a chain is released uh, from it. And the chain falls down through your fingers and dangles. And now you realize that this this wheel is an amulet. I'm a genius, guys. I'm guys, a fucking genius. I still think we should get the lady. I'm going to put it on. I'm just saying the lady, the lady had the thing. Fine. I'll just, okay. I'll wear it, and then when we get back and see the the pretty lady, I'll give it to her. All right. I'm gonna tuck it in my shirt. You are next to the door, and you've observed everything within this this space. Uh, in front of you is the crack. If you if you exit the door, that way is the crack where Gertie Grinder was. This way is a a narrowing, but not nearly that narrow pathway. Um, that you can continue farther east. All right, amulet boy, after you. <laughs> Fine. Uh, you marching the crack. marching the order, crack. please. I'm first. I'll go second. Okay, hoot and tweet uh, begin to head through the crack. I'm going to put Squish in front of me. Um, <laughs> Squish is, is sort of fighting you a little bit, and she's like, where are we going? This is crazy, she says. They're like, just go. So I did right. get eaten by a hag. This is going to be a little complex for the next couple of minutes because as you round, as you, as you come through this corner tweet, what you see in front of you is in fact that same lady and her companions standing on a moon-like shaped um, island in the middle of this font with water pouring over and you just sort of skitter around the corner and you're the first one through this kind of gnarly little crack um, and you you stumble through you can hear the others sort of still struggling to come through and you're just you're staring at these people and they seem quite enthralled by a large log jam and they're kind of talking amongst themselves I turn back to the group behind me and I just say oi I see I see those adults. They're they're out here. Which adults, you punts? We don't know what you're talking about. The you, you know, the ones that we were staying at the our cavern. The 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 pretty lady. The guy with all the tattoos, the, the pretty lady with the hat, and then the dragon dude, and then the little blonde girl. Is that what we say when we come out with it? coming through the the uh yeah so you're 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 coming out you're seeing this yeah. um and you can kind of see one of them turns towards you and and starts to look in your general direction um what and and begins to see these two children coming around the corner that would be runt <laughs> and what would we hear runt say <laughs> Um, guys, does uh, does children here? Do we, do we, do we want them here? And they're sort of confused. Um, Gein turns towards you and says, "Those are the kids that we were with." And finally, the cleric, the twilight cleric, turns. Maybe. Wait, my hands are still in the fountain. <laughs> I have to take my hands out of the fountain to turn around. And I'm going to go, what do you mean they're here? Look, they're across the way. How did they get yeah, That's the little girl. I saved her ass. Hi, girl. Remember, I saved your ass. Buzz, um, you are struggling to just... Hearing voices up ahead, uh, Mercy Wallace has, has dug her heels in and she's not sure what to make of these sounds for a moment. She seems somewhat stunned. I'm going to poke her and be like, let's go. The hags are behind us. Strength check, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to poke. 
Wait, go help her. Uh, go help seven. her. Go on. Use well, your well, muscles for something. And what you want in me an to do? An additional uh, strength check. Mercy Wallace is equally. She got an eight. She's not, however, opposing you. Two huge clawed hands have each of you around the waist. <laughs> and like two, a salt and pepper shaker, this hag, which is bent over the top of the of this crevasse, has reached down and has grabbed you and pulled you up. Towards uh, Tweet and is... hoot, you hear screams and then silence and then cackling. Two for one! One for a snack and the final for the mirrors! Uh-oh. Uh, look Martha what you've done be now, Tweet. Gertie now. I didn't do anything. Well, exactly. You didn't do anything. Up, d- 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 up yours, Oot. And that's where we'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> that was uh, fun. Yeah. I love, I love the part at the end where we got to be. Our, uh, our actual characters yeah, so that, that was, was weird great. that's like that you have nice to touch. that was a weird character change it was like uh now i gotta i gotta be softer <laughs> i know that was fun that was the fun yeah. part. i loved it that was it. great oh man so, brad and noel missed out oh uh, well um no. you know we'll we'll hear what exactly happens to buzz and mercy as they're dragged, kicking and screaming, back through the boneyard. Told you we should have um, sacrificed Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a very uh, strong Three Stooges vibe from us. We were yeah. yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's. Um, we'll award these points to the players who can use them in the in the in the regular game. So why don't we go around the table quickly and uh, uh, while we do. It's time for the magic from beans. Tipa? Ha! Time for the magic. Time for the magic. Let's see who gets the magic beans. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, we're going to let our our visitors on Twitch go ahead. And I see we have, as I as I break my concentration to take a look at the Twitch feed, we've got Korok DM there. Uh, this lovely map that we're using, everybody, is his creation. Hooray! Um, so make sure you check out Korok DM and... Uh, his art and consider giving him a commission if you are so interested we found out that our map is actually a supersized map it's like a mega map oh. so um we've and we've sure been having a lot of fun letting it uh guide us for three games um okay so we've got votes coming in while we do let's go around in the same order that we introduced ourselves that will be becca luna and shady Oh, I got to give it to Tweet for Baby Rage. Ah, rage. I didn't even use my other rage. I should have raged. Baby Rage. Yeah, you should have raged. Whoever told you not to is an idiot. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I wonder who that was. (laughs) Definitely idiot. Never going to listen to that. (laughs) All right. Okay, well, there's one for Luna, a.k.a. Gein. A.k.a. Tweet. AKA um, tweet. <laughs> um, I'm going to give mine to Buzz for sticking it to Gertie in the face. There you go. Oh, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, uh, fuck you, Gertie. That was uh, awesome. Plus one to Buzz to Bees, pardon me. Bees Buzz. Buzz Bees. Hey, that really bees works. Buzz. I didn't oh, even put that fun. together. <laughs> all the bees into Buzz into bees. But do you see Ooh. why I was responding to all <laughs> I was like, I it, seriously, that completely eluded me until right now. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Um, all right. And uh, let us have it there, Shady. Uh, I'm going to give it to Buzz because I thought it was hysterical when she <laughs> pulled off the rope and attempted to lasso Mercy and instead <laughs> hit her in the back of the head. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was I thought she like whipped her in the head. And, <laughs> that's great. All right. Um, I think we're going to just hear from the right on. Okay, so uh, the Banshee Bean goes to Shady. Yay! All right, for his portrayal of Hoot. Um, so let's get that one in. That means the standings are... Whew, 
Shady, you will be inspiration plus three for next game. Uh, Luna, Gein will have inspiration plus one, and Althabees, you are on the board with four votes, uh, five votes total. Okay. Oh, Our man okay. Rogar has plus seven, and Rook has plus five, which means everybody's on their way to inspiration, but Gein and Runt will hold it for the next round. So thank you, everybody, for joining us um, and, and voting that way. Well, I guess we're going to be uh, getting out of here a little early tonight, so thanks very much. Um, we'll be back at full strength next week. Um, in the meantime, since this was uh, our Mushroom Dumpling Gang episode can we have one big bangerang before we go yeah the leader's yeah. gotta gotta call it call good, it good. out Oot. what what am, what am i yeah what you I have to count on? us down lead, for us in, lead us in a bangerang i don't i don't know what a bangerang is what <gasps> yeah what's bangerang? what the lost boys it, from hook you? you are oh dude i haven't seen hook in like a billion island. years oh, you are kicked <laughs> off bangerang. The oh there you are peter you're I just remember. It, I just you're remember Rufio, Rufio, Rufi. Oh, that's all. That's good enough. Okay, let's yeah, have a Rufio. You, you got a crow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, with that, bang-a-ring. we're gonna say good night. One bang rang. <laughs> bang rang. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> have a good, good one, and we'll talk to you next time. All the best. Bye. Great job, everybody. That was really Happy good. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was fun. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. That, on the, Amer- the American yeah. side. Okay. Okay. Good night. Take care of each other.